This video will show you how to operate the densitometer. When using the densitometer, make sure to fit the scanner with the lid that has a white background instead of the lid that has a glass background. This will ensure a clearer image of the gel. When handling the gel, make sure to wear gloves to prevent your hands from getting stained. Gently remove the gel from the petri dish and place it down onto the scanner. Avoid trapping in air bubbles when doing this. With your gel loaded onto the scanner, open up the lab scan software on the computer. Click on the scanner icon with a question mark to obtain a preview of your gel. Once the preview appears, use the crop tool to draw a rectangle around your gel in order to crop out the bottom. Make sure you do not cut out any bands or lanes. Next, click on the scanner icon with no question mark, and an enlarge image of your crop gel will appear. Click on the floppy disk icon to save your gel image. Make sure to save it as a TIFF file. Name the picture with your group number along with SDS or IEF, depending on the type of gel you used, and save your image in the designated folder. The gel images need to be converted in order for the analysis program to easily detect the bands. To do so, open the IQTL calibration converter. Click on Add File and select the image file you saved. Click on Convert File and the notification will appear after the conversion is complete. To analyze the image of the gel, click on the Image Quant TL software. Click on 1D Gel Analysis. Select your converted photo. The file name of the converted photo should be the original file name followed by IQTL. Open the file. To select and edit the lanes manually, click on the stepwise icon from the left panel. Then select the manual icon. Go to the Parameters tab located on the bottom of the left panel and identify the number of lanes present on your gel you wish to select. Proceed to click and drag a box across the image of your gel, ensuring that each lane is fitted with a rectangular outline. You can always click the Clear button and reselect if you are unhappy with the lane selection. To edit the lanes, two options are available, Edit Single Lane and Edit Multiple Lanes. To edit individual lanes, select Edit Single Lanes from the drop-down menu. Select the Move button to move the rectangular outline side to side in order to better fit the gel image. Make sure to not move the outline up or down in order to avoid accidentally cutting off bands. Select the Bend slash Resize button to trim off the sides of the bands. This produces better quality peaks for analysis. For lanes that are slanted, left-click on the white square type point to drag and fit the outlines diagonally. Left-click on the center of each lane to add a white square type point. Bend and stretch the outlines by left-clicking on the type point and dragging it to fit distorted gels. To remove type points, right-click on them. If you want to edit all lanes at once, select Edit Multiple Lanes from the drop-down menu. When you're happy with your lane positioning, click Next. Click on the Parameter tab again. Select the Image Rectangle option. Draw a rectangle on the blank area of any selected lanes. This will be your background color that will be subtracted from the color of your bands. Make sure the peaks shown on the graph are all above your subtraction line. When finished, click on Subtract and then Next. Click on the Detect icon and all bands on your picture should be outlined. 
If there is a blank area mistakenly selected as a band, right-click in the middle of the band to delete it. If there are any bands that's not detected automatically, left-click in the middle of the band to add it in. You can also adjust the width of the bands, but it's not necessary for the purpose of this experiment. The width of the bands are used for protein expression analysis, where the color density of the bands are used to determine protein concentration. However, the objective of this experiment is to only identify the proteins based on their molecular weight. When you're finished selecting your bands, click on the Next button. Click on the Parameter tab again. Select SDS or IEF according to the type of gel you're using. The molecular weight of SDS and IEF standards should be included in those options respectively. Select the standard lane by left-clicking on it. Remember, the standard lane should have 9 bands in total. Click on the Parameter tab again, and from the drop-down menu, select Linear Log Curve option. Click Compute, and a graph showing the standard versus the distance travel on the gel will appear. There should be a window on the bottom of your screen showing all data values. Make sure you click on the All Lanes tab before proceeding to the next step. Click Edit on the top of the screen, and then select Export to Excel. An Excel sheet with all your data will appear automatically. Save your Excel file, your original gel image, and your converted gel image with the bands identified to your USB for your report.